Hey everybody, today we're going to use negative space to create a picture. Negative space is like taking something away from a picture. That creates contrast. Do you notice how the artist did that here? Today we're using scratch art to make a postcard using crayons, scratch art tools found around your house, scissors, glue, and black paint. Now if you don't have black paint, that's fine. That's optional. To begin this project, you need paper. The best paper for this project is a harder paper or a firm paper. They call it cardstock. If you don't have that at your house, I'll show you another thing that you can use. Take the paper and fold it in half. Fold it in half again. You want to walk away with four small rectangles and you can do that by folding your paper in half twice. Once you've done that, cut the on the lines that you folded and that will give you four rectangles that are four by six. Once you have those rectangles, if you have only paper from home and you want it to be firm so you can make it a postcard for the mail, simply trace the paper onto a cereal box or an old can, like pop can box, and that will give you firm paper too. You can glue the paper onto the postcard or you can also uh, do the project directly onto the cardboard. It's four by six. Now, color in your white paper. Open up your box of crayons, and I've sorted mine into two groups. Hot colors, warm colors, and cool colors. Cool colors are purples, blues, and greens. Warm colors are reds, yellows, and oranges. You can color in that paper however you want. I'm choosing to use cool colors and just going in diagonal lines. You can color in squares, you can color in circles. There's no wrong way to color this in. Once you've colored everything in, go over that with a black crayon. Press down firmly and don't let any of the color peek through. You're turning out the lights on all of that color. Go over it very firmly so none of the color shows through. You might have to color that two or three times. There's one more way you can cover up the color quickly. It's by using black paint. Now acrylic paint or black craft paint works best for this. Make sure something is underneath your paper before you start painting because you don't want to get your kitchen table messy or any other part of your table just covered in paint. So make sure something's behind it before you start painting. You need about two to three coats on that picture because you don't want any of the color to show through. You are turning out the lights. Nothing should be peeking through. Allow for dry time. I would say about five minutes, 10 minutes is enough. Now it's time to make a picture using negative space. So we're going to take the black away to create a picture. Now, if you make a mistake, you can always add black back on top of what you scratched away. That will cover it up again. The tools that work best for this are a pencil, a bobby pin, or a push pin. Something that has a point typically tends to work best. Ask your mom or dad or your guardian around the house to give you help with this. And let the creating begin. If you want to turn this into a postcard, make sure you draw a little spot for the stamp and three lines for the address on the back. So here's the card that I used paint with, and it did, does come off a little bit differently than the crayon. And on this design, I just decided to do lines, various line patterns, so you don't have to draw a picture. You can do anything you want. Try different things. Try drawing pictures. Try making different line patterns. It doesn't all have to be the same. And when you do do a line pattern, you can actually glue things on top of it too. And I'll show you how to do that later.
Now, if your postcard got a little messy, maybe from paint or crayon, you can glue a clean sheet of paper on the back so it looks a lot neater and clean. Just trace around the edges and cut it out and glue it to the back of the postcard that you've made. That will make it easier to send in the mail. Here's some additional things you can do with your um, scratch art. You can collage on top of it. Collage is using glue and any material really to add to the surface. So what you'll need is a small container and glue or Mod Podge. Now both of these things can be found at the store. Look around your house and find maybe old bags, tissue paper. And one idea is to use an old book, maybe a book that's been ripped up or is really old. Sometimes I look around at garage sales for books that have interesting illustrations so I can use them for collage. Now this is a book I had for that purpose. So don't just take a book from your house that has really nice pictures and it's a really good book. Don't just cut it up. Make sure you ask your mom or dad if you can do that. Now because I bought this book for collage, that's what I'm going to use it for. And I really like this picture because it's a man looking at fireworks. And I think I'd like to collage this onto my postcard. So it doesn't have to be a picture from a book, but you can find tissue paper, construction paper and cut out different um, designs or cut out hearts, stars, anything you want and glue it onto the top to make a picture. So I'm using an old picture from a book to add to my design. Now that your postcard is done, we can send it to a friend or a family member. Don't forget to add an address and a stamp in the corner. Pick someone you really love and surprise them with your very own work of art.